my skin is a lot softer. My hair is full of volume. Look at this, body for days. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, we meet again, we meet again. Thank you for tuning in once more. Today we're going to be making three different masks. One hair mask for dry hair. You know your hair's just falling off and you need it to like look sprucey again and be healthy and gain some moisture. We're going to be making a hair mask for that. Also a dark circles under eye mask and a face mask for acne or spots or if you feel like you're going to get spots. All of these face masks are going to be made from home stuff that you would buy in like your food shopping or DIY stuff that you have in your house. Let's get to it. So first for the hair mask we're going to have a quarter of a very big banana, an egg, two oils of your choice, mine is castor and black seed but you can use coconut, olive oil, argan oil, all of them and we're gonna add some honey. You don't have to use banana but I like banana. Banana is also good for protein in your hair so is the egg but I like to add banana too. First crack your egg into the banana I like to do a cap and a half of each oil. And a teaspoon of honey, but I just freestyle it then we're going to get the fork and just make it into a paste oh this takes forever but we will get there we will get there in the end so i did decide to blend it all together because my patience was running low onto the face mask here we have some ground coffee and we're just going to add a tablespoon of honey. So ground coffee, a tablespoon of honey and just mix. Usually you should do a tablespoon of honey to two tablespoons of coffee. But as you can see, I think I've put too much coffee. So I'm going to have to add some more honey. Until you have a bit of a paste like that, that is a bit sticky. Here I have some baby tomato seeds. I used one baby tomato. And I got all of them seeds, so that was great. And then I also have a slice of cucumber, but I just cut up the middle and I didn't use the skin. And I'm just gonna add this tiny little palette of milk and let that stir. So this is for the under eyes. This is just milk, cucumber and tomato seeds. This is literally just honey and ground coffee. In here we have a quarter of a banana, a medium sized egg and two oils of your choice onto the hair mask first so you want to make sure that your hair is kind of damp my hair is damp it's not look at all of that this is why you don't use hair gel because your hair will start to look a little bit mm. but my hair is damp it's not completely bone dry you have to do this with damp hair um, because when you put it in and you want to like brush it through, you shouldn't brush your hair dry. You should know this. So I'm going to split my hair into four sections now. Two on each side. I always struggle to get these even. 
Then you want to get some hair clips. I'm going to do this side first. I'm going to leave this side. So first what I'm going to do is literally get to my bowl. Oh. Right, let me get a towel. Let me just put this down, wait a second and get a towel. That might be a more clever idea because I'm about to get that raw egg everywhere. So let me get a towel. <sighs> and I'm back again. Right, so now I've got a towel. I'm going to apply my mixture just going through the dry parts of my hair so my hair is very dry at the ends the roots are okay because I oil my roots after I've washed my hair so I'm literally first I'm gonna do two handfuls on each and then I'll go through with the rest This smells really nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to have a swig, but that is not nice. No, but think about it. All the things I've put in there smell great. I put bananas, put some oil. So, there we go. I mean, my hair, when you put stuff like this on, your hair will instantly like feel softer, but you gotta leave it for like an hour. Do not, I repeat, do not wash any egg mask out with hot water. If you wash your hair with hot water when you use egg, it will stop the main purpose of this process. So just trust in the process. When you wash your hair at first, you're going to have to wash it with quite cold water. Hot water and heat, it's not really good for what we're trying to achieve right now. So make sure cold water. When you're using an egg mask, you wash your hair with cold water. Now I'm going to go in and just add my face mask onto my areas that are kind of getting... Oh, why is it not? Oh. Okay, that didn't go to plan. Um, come on. I'm just going to add my face mask to the areas on my face that gets spotty. I don't know why this is so hard to spread today. Oh my god. This needs to stop. Oh my god. I look like I've put on fake tan and it's gone wrong. Look at this. Look at my fingers, right? I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk about that. V patch on my spot. Just added a bit of coffee on my spot and hope that she disappears, but I've realized that I've got so much product left. So, YOLO. <laughs> Why do I do this stuff? Why do I actually do these stuff? Now for the under eyes. We're gonna add. So this is how I do my under eyes. I cut a pad in half. So I got two halves. And then I literally got like this. Drain it off maybe actually because I have another face mask on and I just make sure that some of the tomato bits gets on there I mean we 
don't want one on that side. I can barely even say. On me eye, like so. Oh, this is gonna be stink. It's more like coffee, milk. But you know, trust in the process. Really do trust in it. <laughs> oh my god. Right. I'm gonna leave these on our eyes for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on how much you can bear. So 10 to 15 minutes for these. For the face, I do about 20 minutes. And for the hair, I do an hour. So it's been 15 minutes. Let's take these off and see the results. It definitely, definitely, definitely has brightened up my under eyes. I mean, on camera, I don't think you could really see how dark my under eyes were before. But this has definitely lifted my under eyes completely. I feel like my whole area here is a lot lighter and is very soft. <laughs> I think that's the milk, to be honest. The milk and the cucumber together, that has really softened up my under eyes. Yeah. I look like I actually get good sleep. Oh my God. Yes. This is banging. <laughs> A little red velvet moment. Cream. <laughs> Don't mind if I do indulge while this soaks in. So after taking off the face mask, I am very impressed. I feel like honey does have a big part to play in many of these masks in general. My skin literally is so soft and it's great. I'm loving it. One tip that I forgot to say is before you put on a face mask, you should, but I forgot, you should get a hot towel and press it on your face because that opens up your pores and it allows whatever face mask you're putting on to really get into your pores and clean it. And then when you wash it off your face, you should wash it with cold water because that closes your pores. So after you've washed your face, no dirt is going to get into your pores after that. It closes them. So to open your pores, it's warm water and to close, it's cut. Always remember that because that is actually a very good tip and it will stop you from getting spots like this. I'm just going to use the Nivea and I'm just going to cream my face now. But my face feels very soft after that experience. That was lovely. Okay, so it's finally like, oh. what, the, what the hell? What the hell is happening to my voice? It's finally time to wash my hair out. Let's see the difference. Does it look more healthy? Is it soft? Is she glistening? We'll find out after the break. My hair generally does look and feel a lot softer. She's got body. She's got body. She feels a bit thicker. She feels more voluptuous. This is definitely going to get done again. I'm very, very, very please look she just looks full of life <laughs> ready for the red carpet vogue you ain't ready for me you really ain't okay the lighting's a lot better down here you can really see my skin is a lot softer my hair is full of volume you want this volume you want her you better get your face mask and your hair mask on look at this body for days that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching i will be back with some more videos i'll be back with some more beauty videos nail videos hair videos anything you lot want to see from me let me know down below i'll be back <laughs> look at the shine though no games <laughs>